Dr. Westbrook Kaplan, what would happen if a teen was taking a testosterone booster once a week? This is a very good question. I see this a lot every day, and I've seen this for years. Testosterone boosters or any exogenous hormones can affect teens very adversely as well as adults. Um, things that I have seen and things that can happen are that any exogenous testosterone that is produced or introduced into a young person's system, it interferes with the normal balance of hormones. It usually most often adversely affects the milieu. What happens is that the endogenous testosterone can halt or interfere with the production of normal testosterone. And if continued for long periods of times, it can have long-term deleterious effects, such as in boys who are going through puberty, it can prematurely cause the growth plates in the bones to stop growing and may alter your height potential. Um, it can cause acne. It can cause infertility if used for long periods of times. It can cause mood swings, emotional problems, depression. It can cause um, it can cause uh, testicular um, shrinkage, and it, it should be avoided. the 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 goal of health and overall wellness should not include uh, exogenous testosterone boosters or hormones, especially in young people. Things that can optimize your hormones are regular exercise, good sleep, a healthy diet. I highly recommend that people avoid these things. You can optimize your hormones very effectively through a healthy lifestyle.